Hello, happy Tuesday and welcome back to the vlog. So I did not vlog yesterday because it was mainly a working from home day. Um, I was doing some data analysis on the data from the bioassay which I ran last week, which was of Axel's samples. I was also in the lab on Sunday and things did not go well. So Sunday night, I was in a bad mood. Monday, I was in a bad mood for most of the day, but after I had done all my data analysis at home, on my computer, was not in the lab all day, I felt much, much better by the evening, just having that break from being in the lab. So here we are, it is Tuesday. We're gonna be doing some more HPLC purification and hopefully it goes better than it did on Sunday. And yes, my mood is considerably better. So let's get stuff done. Hello. I was telling the vlog how I've been really, really moody yesterday and on Sunday because everything was going wrong. And today I'm going to have a positive mindset. Woo! Positivity! <laughs> I'm going to have a positive mindset until Christmas. That's my goal. Oh, okay. Right. So if there's any day now that I am in a bad mood, you have to say, Jessica, remember your positive mindset. Alright. Okay. Okay. I'm holding you accountable for my happiness, Axel. <laughs> it's only me and Axel in the lab so far this morning because it's literally eight o'clock. Uh, so I do not blame anyone else for not being here. But he suggested that we put on the Greatest Showman soundtrack because it will lift our spirits. So that's what we're going to do. And I have a feeling he's going to come through the door in a second. So just to show you where my experiment went wrong the other day. So this was my HPLC chromatogram from last week when I was purifying my sample. And as you can see, there's lots of nice peaks here. The separation is okay. All good. The intensity is about 500. And then when I show you the data from Sunday, you will see that all those peaks at the beginning have merged together into one big peak. And look at the intensity because they've merged together. It's huge, which means I can hardly see the smaller peaks down here, which were bigger in the previous chromatogram. So it completely messed up my purification and I had to try and solve the problem and spent all of Sunday not solving the problem when I was supposed to spend all of Sunday purifying the sample. But anyway, today's a new day. I am trying something different with the purification. Hopefully it works and we'll see what happens. We are nearing the end of the day. It is 20 past four. I've been here since eight, but you can see that my chromatogram is considerably better than the one that I showed you earlier. So I put it on automatic collection. So the fraction collector in there is actually collecting the samples for me but I'm not gonna let it run overnight because the temperature drops here dramatically. Ah, it's Terry, do you wanna see? This is Terry Senior. <laughs> she wants to take a picture with me. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not gonna let it go on automated mode overnight because the temperature drops uh, quite dramatically here in Scotland, so. So it means that the, my retention times and my peaks might shift and I don't really want to risk that because I need to collect these compounds and hopefully I can get some pure compounds. So I will tune in with you guys tomorrow with an update. Hello, good morning. It is day two of positive vibes only until Christmas and we've already had an incident this morning. Uh, basically, I cut myself and Axel came to the rescue with a plaster and it stopped the bleeding. <laughs> but yeah, I cut it on a flask, I'll show you. This is the culprit. I should have thrown out this flask, but it's just so big and convenient. Not like we don't have a hundred other ones, but I was already using it and I didn't throw it away. And then this is the result. My poor finger. Myself and Axel have just taken, oh, look at the library. So nice. We just took the solvent waste out to the solvent shed. I'm going to return the key and go back to the lab.
Gagan. Pretend to be busy. Pretend to be busy. <laughs> Isolating peaks. Where's your peaks? Where's your peaks? Oh no, disaster! <laughs> Me and Gagan were speaking about how difficult it is to do a PhD. It's very difficult, <laughs> especially when you have to give time to your family, your yep. wife, your daughter. Yep. Amazing time. Look after really. the house. I'm enjoying. Cook. I'm enjoying this time, <laughs> but I don't know that my wife and my daughter <laughs> are enjoying it with me or not. But, yeah. But I'm really thankful to both of them. Really. Oh. That's yeah, nice. Taking care of me. Yes. Especially my wife making coffee every time. Thank you. Thank Sylvia, you, say thank hello. You. Say hello, Sylvia. <laughs> happy thursday as you will have seen i did go into the lab this morning however i'm actually taking a day off so i told you earlier in the week that i went into the lab on sunday because i had a lot of purification to do and in order to kind of rest up i have decided to take today as a day off i went to the gym after i went to the lab and since then i've just been chilling at home really I got some bad news today that France is no longer allowing British tourists to enter the country and I can't remember if I'd mentioned it before but basically myself and my boyfriend Peter were planning to go to Paris for a few days in January as a little break for us both and to finally escape from the UK after two years and yeah now France has decided because of everything that's going on just now with Covid and this new variant that Brits are not allowed to enter the country so that's annoying. I was really really looking forward to this trip and just really looking forward to switching off going away but yeah we need to reevaluate our plans now whether we'll go somewhere else or whether we're just going to stay here which I really hope isn't going to happen because I really need to get away. Anyway I'm just going to be chilling for the rest of the day so nothing much to show you um, and I'll see you in the lab tomorrow. Right. <laughs> Axel's leaving. Yeah. For Christmas. How can you do that to us? <laughs> no, I'm joking. You deserve well, to go home. <laughs> no one is working, so it's fine. Well, I'm working <laughs> next week. And you'll be enjoying your time in Germany. I yeah. hope you have a nice time. And you'll be back in the new year. Yeah, like you. Like me. Hello, happy Friday. So today feels like a very Friday-ish Friday because I don't want to do anything. <laughs> Um, I went to the gym this morning, as you will have seen, and since I've been in the lab, I tried to fix a rotavap with Sylvia. I have dried one of my samples on the rotavap. I have done some edits of my research paper, but apart from that, I've just been eating chocolate and chatting to everyone. So the pre-holiday vibes are very much setting in. I do not feel Christmassy yet, but I'm just chilling, like I'm just ready for a break and I'm pretending I'm already on my break but I should actually be doing a lot more work than I actually am. Anyway, we have a group meeting at four so until then I'm just doing some edits of my paper. Yeah, not a very exciting day but yes, Christmas is soon and I'm excited and I just want to be on holiday but I am going to be working next week which is the week beginning the 20th of December, I think. So uh, the university closes on Thursday at five o'clock, which is the 23rd of December. So I'm going to try and come in because there's not so many people coming in because everyone's leaving for the holidays today and over the weekend. So there will be HPLCs free and I need to use them as much as I possibly can. So I will be coming in next week. 
but then that means we'll have one last lab vlog next week and then yeah i'm not sure what i'm gonna do over the christmas break if i'm gonna make some christmasy vlogs maybe at home and out and about or if i'll have a break from youtube completely to be decided anyway i'm going to go back into the lab now and i will speak to you guys later on i am here with prof Ter i have to Hello. look terry i need to go Hello. <laughs> Prof Teresinha from Brazil. We're going to group meeting now. Yes. And then to the pub. <laughs> I am the only one in group meeting. <laughs> no one is here. And to end the day, we have something which looks like it could be a compound. A pure compound. Can you see it? Can you see it? It doesn't look like very much, but Sylvia said it is. So we're going to get an NMR next week and see how much we have and if we can solve the structure. Can you see the compound here? Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Oops, wrong one. Anyway, I'm rounding off the vlog here. We just had group meeting. Um, hope you all have a nice weekend and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Bye.